This is the lithium battery mark. Its use is required by both international and domestic regulations for certain packages containing lithium batteries. In the regulations of the US DOT, its specifications are found at 49 CFR 173.185 C3. In the dangerous goods regulations of the International Air Transport Association, IATA, its specifications are found at 7.1.5.5. And in the dangerous goods code of the International Maritime Organization, its specifications are found at 5.2.1.10.2. Its use is required, if applicable, since January 1 of 2019. Prior to that date, there was also a lithium battery handling label that could be used. But that ended as of January 1, 2019. Now, if required, you must use this lithium battery mark. The mark must be in the form of a rectangle and it must have a minimum dimension of 120 millimeters wide by 110 millimeters high. In the US DOT regulations, the US measurements are given of 4.7 inches wide by 4.3 inches high. A smaller lithium battery mark is acceptable if the packaging is too small for the full size mark. In that case of a smaller packaging, the only acceptable minimum size is 105 millimeters wide by 74 millimeters high. Once again, the US DOT regulations give measurements in the US standard, which is 4.1 inches by 2.9 inches. But that's as small as it can go. The lithium battery mark must have a red hatch edging that is a minimum of 5 millimeters, 0.2 inches wide. All symbols and letters on the lithium battery mark must be black and they must appear on a white background or another suitable contrasting background. So it doesn't have to be white, but there must be a contrast between it and the black symbols and letters. If a symbol uh, or letter does not have a specification for its size, then it must be approximate to those shown in the regulations and as you can see here. So there is no minimum uh, height or specification for the battery symbols themselves that appear there, but they must be approximate to as they're shown in the regulations. Now, on the lithium battery mark, you see the, the asterisks down towards the bottom. The single asterisk must be replaced with the hazmat identification number. This identification number must include the letters UN. So you're going to have the letters UN followed by the four digits of the identification number. There may be more than one identification number on a single lithium battery mark that is acceptable. The identification number must be a minimum of 12 millimeters high. The double asterisk just below it must be replaced by the shipper with a telephone number that may be reached for additional information. This is not an emergency response telephone number. That would be in a different location. This is an information phone number that can be called for additional information about the shipment. That is the specifications for the use of the lithium battery mark for its appearance.